Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's have a look at the 2014 question six. It was a mixture of logs and sequences and series. Um, so it's the first question we're really going to do on sequence and series. The nth term of a sequence is Tn equal to Ln of a squared, where a is greater than zero and a is a constant. Show that T1, T2 and T3 are in arithmetic sequence. Okay, so the first thing I would do is figure out, well, what is T1? Okay, because we don't have the terms of a sequence and let's write out our sequence. So T1, you can see here, I'm, <clears throat> I'm just letting n equal to one. Okay, so ln of a to the power of one then is the right-hand side. So I'm subbing in one for a when I need to find the first sequence. So T1 is equal to ln of a. T2 then would be ln of a squared. I'm going to take that two down in front so that I have it in both ways. So that's two ln of a. T3 would be ln of a cubed. Take the three down in front and I get three ln of a. Okay, now if you need to show that the terms are in arithmetic sequence, you use the formula that the difference between two consecutive terms is the same. Now I have T1, T2, T3 here. So I'm going to show that if I subtract T, T2 from T3, so T3 minus T2, I should get the same answer as T2 minus T1. Okay, or 3 ln of A minus 2 ln of A. I'm just subbing in my answers from these. Should be the same as 2 ln of A minus ln of A. Okay, so that line is appropriate for any arithmetic sequence. That's how we show it is an arithmetic sequence. So how many ln of a's do I have? Well, three minus two is one ln of a. Two minus one here is ln of a, okay? So that's called your common difference is the same, okay? So that's how I know it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay, that is what I am always trying to use. And of course we use the little letter D for that, for the common difference. Okay, part two then said, prove that the sequence is arithmetic and find the common difference. Okay, so a little bit of confusion over this question and this question. I know some of my students always said to me or do always say to me every year, but isn't this the same as this? Haven't, it, haven't I already it done up here? Well, no, you haven't. What you've done up here is you've proven the first three terms are part of an arithmetic sequence. But if you're going to show that the entire sequence is ar ar arithmetic or arithmetic, you have to do it for the TN case. OK, so any sequence is T1, T2, T3, all the way up to TN minus one, TN, TN plus one. OK, um, <clears throat> so. So we need to prove that this sequence is arithmetic for any term in the sequence, not just the first three terms, okay? So how you do that is you work with these generic uh, terms here, Tn, the one before it, Tn minus one, the one after it, Tn plus one, okay? But I'm still going to use this whole idea here, okay? So. Let's come up with some terms. My Tn I have above, it's ln of a to the power of n. If it was Tn minus one, I'd have ln of a to the power of n minus one, or n minus one times ln of a. And then Tn plus one, well, that would be ln a to the power of n plus one. And if I take that down in front, I'd have n plus one times ln of a. OK, so what did I do there? Well, I just came up with, with expressions for Tn, Tn minus 1, Tn plus 1. Just the same as up here, I came up with expressions for T1, T2, T3. 
And then I'm going to do this now, but just with the uh, generic names. So I'm going to say TN plus one minus the term before it, which is TN, should be the same as TN minus TN minus one. OK, so again, the same format, just different generic terms. So TN plus one is N plus one times TN. And I want to minus TN from that. No, I don't want to minus TN from that. I want to minus LN. I'm just going to take the A down in front there. I never did that for that one. Minus N LN of A. And that should be equal to N LN of A minus N minus one times LN of A. Okay, so lots of LN of A is going on. Let's multiply in some of these brackets, N by TN. N by LN of A is N LN of A. One by LN of A is LN of A. Minus LN of A equals N LN of A minus N by LN of A. Minus minus is a plus. Ln of a. Okay, so what did I do there? I just multiplied ln of a by n and 1. And here, the same, I just multiplied n and minus 1 by ln of a. Okay, so what happens then? n ln of a minus n ln of a cancels on both sides. And you see you're left with ln of a equals ln of a. Okay, so common difference the same. Therefore, arithmetic sequence, okay? So it just takes a little bit of practice working with TNs, TNs minus one, TN plus one, okay? And you've got to, I suppose, remember and comfort yourself that it's the same thing with numbers, it's just with Ns. Now it is more difficult, but if you can try and keep the technique the same, then at least you'll make a fair old attempt at it. OK, part B of that question then says, find the value of A for which T1 plus T2 plus T3 all the way up to T100 is equal to 10,100. OK, so let's write out our sequence um, because what's happening here is the sum of an arithmetic sequence. So if I go to my log tables, page 22 on arithmetic sequence, you can see there's two formulas, one for coming up with the formula for the nth term and an SN formula for coming up with the sum of the first N terms. Okay, so it's the SN formula I'm going to use for this one, because I'm summing up um, all those terms on the left and I have to show that they're equal to 10,100. Okay, so for e either of these formulas, you'll see in the log tables, A is the first term and D is the common difference. So let me write out my my sequence. So my first term, if you remember T1 was ln of A, T2, 2 ln of A, 3 ln of A and so on. So I have ln of A, 2 ln of A, 3 ln of A all the way up. So A is my first term, it's ln of A and remember our common difference, we found it, it's T2 minus T1 or T3 minus T2, the common difference is also ln of A. OK, so let's sum up the first 100 terms. OK, and I know that because I see N, T, N there, N is 100. So my N in my SN formula is also 100. So I have 100 over 2, so that's N over 2, 2A, so 2 LN of A, plus 100 minus 1 times LN of A. OK, so just filling all the pieces into this formula with N being 100 because I'm summing up 100 terms. OK, and that is 100 over 2 is 50 times 2 ln of A plus 100 minus 1 is 99, 99 ln of A. So it's equal to 50 times 101 ln of A. 
and 50 times 101 is 5050 ln of a. Okay, now let me go back to the question. Find the at value of a for which this equals 10,100. Okay, well, I'm going to divide across by 5050. So ln of a is equal to 10,100 uh, divided by 5050. I get two. Okay, and then you do the switch here because we have to solve for a, so we have to get rid of this ln, or you raise everything up to the power of e, because e is the opposite of ln. So e is actually going to cancel with that ln that's there. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I get a is equal to e squared, okay? Um, and you can put e squared into your calculator if you want. It's hiding there behind the ln button. Um, I probably wouldn't. I'd just leave it as e to the power of two because I'm comfortable with it. And I know if I leave it at that, there's no rounding error. Okay, but a is 7.389 or e, e to the power of two. Okay, part C then, the last part of that question said that verify for all values of a. So I'm not subbing in for a now because I'm showing for all values of a. T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T10 plus 100D is equal to T11, T12, T13. Okay, so more SN formulas going on here. Let me take over that formula again. Okay, so let's work on, on the left-hand side first. So I see the sum of the first um, 10 terms here. So I have LN of A, 2 LN of A, three ln of a and so on and so forth. Okay, so the sum of the first 10 terms because it goes up to T10 is S10. And that's equal to 10 over two, two times ln of a minus uh, 10 minus one, nine ln of a. Okay, so 10 over two is five times 11 ln of a, so it's equal to 55 ln of a, okay? And I have to add on 100 d, so my common difference d, do you remember what that was? It was also ln of a, so it's 100 times ln of a. So on that left-hand side, I have 155 ln of a, okay? So that's the left-hand side. Okay. Let's have a look at the right-hand side. So you have a couple of choices from the, for the right-hand side. You can sum the first 20 terms and then subtract off 55 ln a of a, okay? Or you can start your sequence at 11 and then sum these 10 terms. So don't get confused if you do that. You're only summing 10 terms here. It's just your sequence is only starting at 11. Or you sum ln of a all the way up to t20 and you take off 55, okay? Um, so it doesn't matter which of those two ways you do it. I'm gonna start my sequence at t11. Well, that's t1, t2, t3. So UK t11 then would be 11 ln of a, 12 ln of a, 13 ln of a, and so on and so forth. So a, my first term in this is 11 ln of a. My con Common difference is still ln of a, and I'm still subbing 10 terms, okay, 11 to 20. So S10 for this case is still 10 terms over two. Um, it's 2a, so it's two times 11 ln of a plus n minus one, so that's nine times my common difference, ln of a. So it's five times 22 ln of a plus nine ln of a. So it's five times, what's that? 31 ln of a. And that's equal to 155 ln of a. Okay, so verify that. So 155 ln of a from the left side 
is equal to 155 ln of a from the right side. So therefore it's verified. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.